I'm Haley Adams, and this is a day in my life. Good morning. Good morning. You like my rug? Yes, nice. <laughs> it's Mickey Mouse. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse. So I've been here five. Six, oh, it'll be six years. Well, I guess I <laughs> took a break. Uh, but it'll be six years in like November. I remember. Me too. I was 17 years old. And you got this? No, when oh. I moved here. When I moved here. I bought this house in um, 2021. Okay. Yeah. You have a cat here too? No, they're in North Carolina. I'll bring them back when I go home and come back, but I couldn't have them um, in Virginia, so they're with my parents right now. But they'll be back when I go back home. Does he get along like oh, good yeah. with them? No, he loves them. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to have them back. I miss them. I'm never gonna live without them again. Oh, there's another Mickey. <laughs> I'm not a Disney adult, I swear. I just really like Disney. I swear. <laughs> Do you prefer Disney World or Disneyland? Disney World. Disney World is in Florida, right? Disney World is not yeah. world. I, have you been to Europe Disney? No. Oh, you want to take well, me? yeah. Paris. Paris? It's How in Paris. Uh, 90 minutes with the train. Oh and it's really, really cool. It's, it's quite pricey though. It's, it's really cool. I when they are when they open, kind of. What's for breakfast? Uh, right now I usually do an egg plus egg whites plus some grapes plus two pieces of sourdough and coffee. I don't count my macros or anything, so I don't know how many calories it is, but just eat, bro. We just eat around here. You guys want to see my room? Sure. It's pink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got Disney stuff all over it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did you paint this room? Yeah. <laughs> my all dad, by yourself? My dad not painted it. Wow. It's huge. Yeah, yeah it's all Disney. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. You got a stitch on your bed. And a most my life. My friend Lindsay made this for me. <laughs> you know her? Yeah, I'm school with her. Really? Yeah. She made that for me. It's my room, bro. How many coffee machines do you have? Well, this is an espresso. Yeah. This is a Keurig. And this is a Ninja Creamy. <laughs> Luke was all about the creamy. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Um, I've been having it like every night. It's, it's kind of crazy. I just put like vanilla um, protein powder and then some milk in it. And, Tastes like ice cream. And the last one I did. <laughs> I was trying to think. I think the last time you ate oatmeal for breakfast. I didn't barely PBJ eat breakfast. Oatmeal. No, I ate a piece of bread. Oh, so man. sad. I literally ate a piece of bread for breakfast and trained for five hours. I was like, oh no, I'm just don't eat breakfast. Breakfast is important. So what what does your day look like today? <clears throat> Uh, today I'm just gonna be training. I'm gonna go to the gym after I eat this, yeah. and then yeah. today Wednesday, go back in the afternoon, and then maybe my friend Lindsay will come over and hang out, just chill, watch Star Wars. I, my favorite thing to do after the show is go. I hate Reddit, but for some reason I love Star Wars Reddit. And people just like live talk on there, and I love. Uh oh. I love getting on there and just like seeing what everyone's saying. And it helps me like understand things better too. Yeah, well, come here. I don't, we don't know if he is a Sith Master or not, or if he's an apprentice. That's true. I could nerd out on this all day. 
Do you listen to music when you wake up in the morning to make breakfast? Yeah, I have music constantly on all the time. That is one thing about me is I cannot sit in silence. As soon as I get home, I put music on. Or like the TV or something. Can I catch up on eggs? No. No. I like salsa. Mm. Dude, you're from the south and you don't like ketchup on you your eggs. You see how organized her fridge is? It's not that organized. Everything's so organized. Did you see my fridge? What time do you wake up? Seven? Seven thirty? Do you put the alarm or you put the No, I just wake up. Well, I wake up at like seven, seven thirty, but I like to lay in bed. So like I like to lay in bed and watch TikTok or something else. I eat on the couch. I don't eat at the table. Yeah, you can See? I don't know what I'm doing. Yay! Yeah. Did you ever give you the food like this? Mm -hmm. Paul, give him Paul. Ah, I said food. Paul? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm saying congrats, good job in dog language. But is it on your phone? Like, what are you. What, what do you mean on my phone? <laughs> it's not your phone? Is it? What is that noise? I don't understand. <laughs> Okay, Chad is seven, seven, seven on sat Saturday morning. So, seven, so it means that there are six workouts between uh, Thursday and Friday. Oh shoot. I know people are like, Chad isn't fun to watch, Chad isn't fun to do, like we get it, like. But what is so disrespectful is like people openly like bashing it, complaining about it, saying how stupid it is, like they don't want to do it, it's not a games workout. Think about something bigger than yourself. I think it's, gonna bring great awareness and but maybe it's a little bit of a few people that understand the, yeah. the purpose of it you know yeah i hope so i mean i think you can give like a really big impact and probably get people outside of the crossfit games to do it too and like bring awareness and and i think that i hope that crossfit the crossfit games you know uses this chance to i think that's know, what they're to, gonna do yeah, yeah. yeah i don't think they would just do it to not make it a big deal like i think that yeah. i hope they do something really cool with it you know I've heard that it's a very important worker for Dave Castro. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm sure that there's going to be a lot around it, not just the worker itself. I, I just can't imagine reading those comments about, yeah, that's just my opinion. So on that note, let's go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do my dishes though. No dishes up on the Yeah, like the shark off Nemo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see here. We'll go with Billy today. Oh, wait, no, we'll go this way. Try. No sad song. Best part. <laughs> Thought I was depressed or losing my mind. My stomach upset almost all of the time But after I left, it was obvious why <laughs> I love Billy If she reached out to you and was like Hey, I'm interested in working out, would you? Oh my god Would you like take her under your wing? I would literally drop everything If I'm at the CrossFit Games, I'm leaving <laughs> I'm, I'm going <laughs> <laughs> Why is it I have such a weird brain? Peaches. <laughs> what is that? How are you Matt? I'm Haley. Nice to meet you. Matt. What's your name? Matt. Matt. Okay. Gotcha. Cool. I'm the Mayhem French guy. Okay, cool. Cool. The amount of times I've walked to this gym is crazy. Good morning, Roman. You guys How are you? My feet Good. Out of this. Mm -hmm. Purpose? Yeah, like a profile. Are you skiing recently? Like a 
just less volume yeah. but a, a tanner so you cannot do more than two breaks okay we can do some like ski mono to end the day let's end the day with mono switch it up like in session two no first session oh okay. let's end first session we're running a mechon too yeah okay <laughs> i was gonna say i'll let you start with a mechon today then lift Okay, okay. Oh, who's that? Ahsoka. The girl that was on the TV. Wow, you really are in all of that, huh? <laughs> I know. Oh, you don't It's my whole personality. <laughs> Disney or Star Wars? It started with Disney, and then it like went into Star Wars. Because I was going to Disney so much, and I was like, didn't understand Star Wars land. And I was like, I want to understand Star Wars land. What is the ride? Is it Space Mountain? That person got their arms cut off? That was fake! No, that was fake. It was fake. I was fake. about to ask if that concerned you at all. It was fake. Well, I don't feel arms on that ride anyway. You could send the heat. You could send the fame. Wouldn't even feel it. Try to get to me. Go on and say my name. I know you won't forget. I just got on a waiting list for one. A waiting list? Yeah, for Olivia Rodrigo Stanley. Wow. What color is it? Purple. What is your first movement to lift? My favorite? Yeah. Anything overhead. What is the least Anything deadlift? Did you no, I'm okay deadlift. Yeah? Anything that I'm like this. Okay. Just like this. I don't know what that means. What's next? <laughs> Left. Clean and jerk? Is that what they said? Um, snatch and back squat. But we're gonna make it look cool. Okay, cool. How many meters? 62, 50, 12, 25, 37. 5k, 6k, yeah. That's it for morning session? Yeah. Lunch time? What's your Starbucks order? Just an iced Americano. That's it. I did like this Whole Foods thing for like four months. I used to always get like a latte. Once I started that Whole Food thing, I would only drink black coffee. So I just got used to getting an iced Americano. Yeah. I mean, I still try to eat mostly whole foods, but like at night, I eat a lot of snacks. I make it sound like I eat terrible. I don't. I just was eating a lot of fake stuff and like stuff in a wrapper. Americano, please. What's that? Grande. Any cream or sugar? No. Anything else? Do you want anything? Nope. Alrighty. 466. Thank you. Did you use points? Yeah, <laughs> I used my points. No, I didn't get the free one today. I just racked up more points then. Hi, Mr. Leo. Hi, Mr. Leo. Hi. You want to go outside? Let's get your ball. Hold on. Let's get it. Maybe I'm biased, but he's so beautiful. Don't you think? Yeah, his eyes are like crazy. Nice fur. Drop it, please. 
Drop it. Let me show them how you catch it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good boy. Drop it. I have to be careful because he gets really hot. And he'll just go until he drops over. Leo. Come on, we'll go inside. So this is not a plug? No, I actually eat this every day. Okay. Mm. You use the same lunch every day? Yeah. Get four calories washer. I don't count my macros, but I'll weigh my food just to make sure I'm getting the same like portion size every day. Make sure I'm getting enough. At least 200 grams of rice and four ounces of chicken. When I did the whole food diet thing, I still ate rice. But my breakfast is what people were like thrown off by. It was like eggs plus oatmeal plus peanut butter and honey all mixed together. You are working for that rice. I gotta get every last bit out, bro. Get it all out. I also could use this on my whole food diet. You definitely see the benefits of it though. I did. I had way less brain fog. I slept better. Why'd you stop it? Still eat mostly clean, but it's just hard to get the calories in, especially at night when it's so hot. Yeah. Like calories need to come first at this point in the season. So when I was like, when training volume wasn't as high and stuff, then it was fine. But no, I'm like, I just need calories. It's a nice lunch. Chicken, rice, mush, and pineapple. It's very similar to Roman's lunch without the avocado. Go, gotta go to my spot. I always eat on the couch, bro. I know. He's just so happy all the time. He's like, oh my gosh. Mm. He has different colored eyes, huh? No, they're the same. Right? Really? Let me look. Let me see. Hi. Yeah, they're the same. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hands up. Ah. To the gym. Let's go. What did I eat? Yeah. Uh, chicken, rice, some fruit, and a mush. If you would have to, after the games, what would be the first food you, you eat? Probably some cookies or ice cream. Remember the games? In Madison, maybe the first year, the day after. What I have? Like 15 burgers. Oh. One station, remember? Yeah. <laughs> Arturoshki, come on. What? What do you say? You speak Russian now? Yeah. yeah. What is the most shameful thing that happened when you were compete when when you oh. while you were competing? The most like, shameful thing they said of God. Like embarrassing? Embarrassing. While competing while competing. Hey, after I, I won the bike event, I was like <laughs> I literally made it through the whole bike event. And then fell. How did you fall? I tripped. <laughs> I've never seen that. Oh, I've no. never seen that. This is starting to look like a rich running boy. I know. Next four rounds straight through. Mm -hmm. No, that double. Okay. Yeah. Wide. Yeah. I mean, I'll be resting, but yeah, I'll be saying. resting. It's gonna be a grind. Okay, and then I can do some else after. Yeah. Accessory. Then. And then one more on. Maybe. Oh man, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> I've even done it. Every workout is a strength workout. Look at you, you're a whole inspiration. Look at you, walk in some motivation. Stop that talk to yourself. Don't gotta be like anybody else. It's the truth, and it's worth celebrating. Ooh, even if they get up in your business. Ooh, keep your peace and forget their opinion. Ooh, you just gotta trust your intuition.
That helped a lot. Two days, coachable app. Two days in a row. Yeah, yeah. And I never did stuff like that. I mean, like I failed, but like you have to fail to learn. Like the first one, I just like muscled it with like no real technique. But then I tried to pick it up again and failed because I was tired. It's like you actually have to use technique. Which so when he helped me, I got it like right back up. Like you could tell a difference. But like I've never done that before. So and then I've never done a pound No, that's what I mean. I've never done that. And I fixed it as soon as you helped me. Like in my head, I'm like, can't fail that. But like, I needed to fail to learn that, or I wouldn't have learned it. I'm proud. So maybe that's back. I don't even know if I could pick that up. So what is this drink? Um, it's just a hydration drink. So it's like clean. It's just really refreshing. There's electrolytes in it. I have one or two of these today. I've been having two just because it's so hot. What's your favorite flavor of those? Um, there's one called a green one called Eclipse. It's really good. Back when they first got Cold Plunge, it was up at the barn, and everyone was like, "Haley, get in it!" Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, "Come on, I'll get in it!" Like, but no one else had been in it yet, and no one checked the temperature on it. Like, so I didn't know what it was set at. And they're like, "Oh, just stay in it for like seven or eight minutes." You know how cold it was? Thirty-eight degrees. I shivered all night. Oh, and ever since then, I've never gotten in one again. But they were like making fun of me, and I was like, fine, I'll get in it. I gave myself hypothermia. What you say? <laughs> I actually have done a workout like this before, but it was uh. That's a straight breed. Dude, let's even keep the box jump like 20 inches. And like normal box jump where you have to stand up, not even over. 14 pound ball, 10 foot though. Yeah, I've just been doing the heavy wall balls, so that works. That's just so crossfit right there. So good. I think you, you should just, do it with just me. Go. I think you should do it with me. Yeah. You didn't hear what I said. I need, I need to find someone to work out with me. This won't be a day in the life if someone's not working out with me. I need, like, Chris. <laughs> like, that's, go get walk that's more, that's more on brand. Yeah, get walking. I'll do it out there. Are you looking for a victim? Yeah. Jake, you want to work out? Uh, about 45 minutes. Uh, what are you doing? I'm out. I'm you have your test of work. I'm trying to find a victim. I think one of you need to do it. Oh. For the camera, who did you find for your sparring partner? Um, I found Scott. I was just here. Hey, do you want me to replace you? Yeah. The camera? No, no, no. Replace me on the workout. <laughs> All right, boys. Here we go. It was like 80 chest bar, 120 wall ball, 100 box jump. Okay, with doing an extra workout, but not doing 15 rounds of it. So I filled my cup, but doing more isn't going to fill the push thing. Accessories. Thanks for doing that. Like, actually, thanks. Like, that's the thing is, I don't, like, when people are like, oh, I can't push you, I'm like, I don't know, I'm trying to get you to push me. I just want to work out with him. Time to pump.
I just want to get, I want to jump on the, and make a cameo on Haley's Day in the Life because this is the one day we, I'm not training. Yeah, we've been training like every day doing something together and he's been gone. That's all, that's all I wanted to do is jump on here and make a cameo and say, one, I'm fired up my homie's back, my sister, and uh, we've been getting after it. Although you guys won't see that in her day in the life because <laughs> I've been MIA today. In your day in the life, I wasn't back yet. So. Yeah. It's been cool for me. It's been nostalgic. I told her this when she came back because like my first year, all I trained with was Haley and Rich. But man, it's been nostalgic. So fired up to have my, my back. sis back. Mama's back. Mama's back. Hailstorm. Big mama's back. Big things coming at the games. You guys watch. What's next? Going home to feast. Are you happy or upset that um, you no longer have Rich as a sparring partner? Because you, um, you're like the last. You were like the last. You and Luke yeah. were like the last people to ever like really work out with him. Yeah, I mean, Rich and I go way back, and I mean, he's the reason that I got as fit as I was in the first place. Um, was working out with him, so I, I owe a lot of the credit to him for sure. But I definitely miss working out with him, going one to one, but. Maybe I'll rope him in with some workouts eventually. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I'll let him pick. Yeah. It's definitely been anything but easy. The last year was really hard to get back to where I was physically. Uh, mentally, I'm doing great, but the fact that I'm going to the CrossFit Games in four weeks and I'm training like this again and I'm able to be okay while doing it. Oh. Like in every aspect, physically, mentally, I'm not beating the crap out of myself. I'm feeling myself. Um, it's something that I never thought I was going to be able to achieve just because of my mindset. And I was just like in such a deep hole before that like I didn't think I was ever going to be able to climb out of it. And no matter what happens, I'm going to leave my best effort out there and let go of the rest and just be really proud of myself that I'm even back on the stage again because I didn't think I was going to be. So this year, no placement goals at all. Um, obviously, I have expectations of myself. Like, I know there's ways that I should perform, but I don't know what place that is. Like, as long as I go out there and do what I can do and perform the best that I can, that's all I can control. Actually, the amount of people that would physically just come up to me or send messages and tell me that I really helped them, you know, get through something or you know, gave them hope. Even when I posted that post that I wasn't competing and went through all my struggles, I just wanted to help someone else and I think that I've done that. And also now to be on the other side of that and be like, hey, look, it doesn't have to be like that forever. I feel like the last two weeks I've been here, I've come in with a smile on my face every day. I have a good time, I work really hard. And I, I genuinely mean that, like it's not an act. Like I have so much fun training again. Like it's not like punishment anymore. I, I love it and it's a full circle moment to just be where I'm at. I feel like I'm a new Haley. I'm not even back. I'm, I'm new and I kind of don't feel like the same person. So. Eat. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes he won't eat the pill. So I guess this is his dinner. And a box for what? It's Some sort of his foot. Mm. Like he digs at it. So they put on antibiotics. Mr. Leo. Crazy. Mm. It smells pretty good. Good boy. What is that? Creamy Caesar. Because I eat this and then these potatoes. And then I make my creamy. And then I have a protein bar. And then I have cereal. And then I have a mush and a piece of bread. Sounds great. So it's a lot. I mix all that up. Why do you mix the potatoes with the salad? No. Yeah, not when they're hot. It's going to make it soggy, you know? 
That smells exactly like SpaghettiOs. That's weird. <laughs> It's really just potatoes with ketchup and some kind of seasoning. I don't. I think it's the seasoning that smells like spaghettios. I don't know. You eat this in the same order every night. Yeah. Gotta get the veggies over first, you know. Yeah. In this, I have first form protein. Some milk, vanilla, just vanilla milkshake. Who had the creamy first? Was that you or Luke? Luke, I just got mine like last week. Oh. It was like acting weird yesterday, so hopefully it doesn't act weird. Spark. It's all flame. I literally just saw flame. <laughs> no, yeah. do you smell that? Yeah, it's not good. Did it just catch on fire? <laughs> it seriously just caught on fire. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it like explode sparks in here. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think your creamy is broken. Did you see the fire? <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I don't. It's the smoke, I think. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? It's cold or hot? Oh my god. Did you get the sparks on there? Yeah, I was filming. Dude, that smells like it's like on fire. Oh my. It smells like. I smell it. You smell it? It smells like it in here. <laughs> What are you gonna do to make up for the lack of cream? Protein cereal. Yeah, the only <laughs> ingredient is brown rice. Is it good? No. You put sugar in it? <laughs> no. No. This is like sugar free rice crispy. It's like rice crispy. Yeah. There would be a creamy here, so I guess I'm gonna be short like 300 calories. I'm assuming that's how much it is, but. Thank y'all for watching A Day in My Life, and I will see you guys in Texas.